Hi there, my name is Tomal and in this video I'm going to show you how I scrapped these top 100 companies from this website. This is a blog post I come across and they are listing top 100 developer tools from 2021. So they have listed all these companies who are offering these great tools that are developer friendly and since uh, these companies are developer focused I've been thinking I should apply to these companies. Most of these companies may have a developer relations job available could be that would be worth looking into. So I started and I, I don't want to copy paste or click through into my spreadsheet so is there any fast way I can collect them so if I just right click on the first one let's just inspect and see what how that goes so I can see this is the a tag with the company name inside the a tag and the a tag is inside the HHC tag so so if I if I just select H3, I can pick that company name. So let's try that. In the console, I can run the DOM APIs. So I'm going to do document query selector and inside I'm going to do the H3. So I got the H3 tag. And inside the HC, there's the A tag and there's the fast API. Okay, that's a good thing that uh, that the first occurrence of HC is actually the company name that I was looking for. So, what I can do is to save it in a variable called H3. And now, HC is that thing. But I want the inner inner content of it so to find the inner a tag i have to go to the a tag and then find that inner content so i can run another query selector and this time since i am inside the h3 i can do a tag okay i i found the a tag so what i can do is do the text content just run text content over here and this is going to return fast api over here and as you can see if i if i can also target all these uh, attributes like the href attribute if i want to also get the url as well so if i do instead of text content let's just do uh, href okay that's that's going to give me the url so that's also handy now this is all good and fine but I'm all only doing it for one thing. I can I could I could easily copy paste the one thing I, I didn't have to do it all using the code. So let's try let's clear the console. Let's try document query selector all and this time I'm going to target all the h3s that are present in this website and um, when they write blog posts it's a common thing to have the um, have all the company names or all the important things in the same format so I, I'm guessing that they have all the uh, company names in inside inside h3 tag so let's enter and I got a node list of 143 and I assume since there are the 100 more than 100 companies all of these HC tags must be the company names okay let's do so we just have to do the same thing that we did for an individual one but this time I have to do it one by one using using that since it's returning an array we can do a for each on this um, on this array and for each it will take another uh, callback function I'm calling the element as an L E L element for short for element for each element let's just console log uh, the element dot query selector a dot text content okay 
Let's do okay. I found all the company names. That's good. That's good. That's what I was looking for. And I also see some errors. Obviously, there must be some other elements that that doesn't follow the same structure for other other things. Maybe they don't have URLs. So I can I can copy copy paste them right here. And before I do that, I also want to include the include the URL as well. So for readability, let's just uh, put it over here and over here con text content. Let's just instead of taking text content, I'm also doing the console log over here with the href. So what I did was I did a console log and inside the console log, this is the opening bracket of the console log and this is the end. So inside console log, you can add a comma to separate these variables. So let's try, okay. I got it. I found all the, all the company names that I was looking for. Let's just copy them. Copy. I am going to put it inside a text file results paste okay I have all the company names but I have a problem um, VM something something it has been added automatically by my Chrome but I have a way to fix it uh, I'm going to open it using VS code and over here okay let's cut the past one past recording so I want this formatted it this way so that it will look good on the spreadsheet so I, I need to delete all this part I, I also want to delete the number so uh, we can do it using VS code shortcut control alter by pressing control alt alter I can just select them and now control shift I'm sh selecting all of them all of the text to the right let's do the same for the other others up until 50 let's delete them it's fun okay for the rest of them let's shift them okay I think it looks fine good for copying and pasting to the spreadsheet let's just copy open Excel okay then paste okay now i have all these companies along with the urls to find these companies i have like 140 companies that i just hot scrapped fresh scrapped from the internet on the website so so that's how you do to recap i i did document query selector all and then since there's another element inside that hc i also did for each and then collected them element query selector a and the text content and also the href so i hope you have learned something new if you enjoy what you saw please do give it a thumbs up and um uh, and please do subscribe to my i don't know what to say because i i haven't re rehearsed the later part so do understand <laughs> what i wanted to say so please do uh, check me out on twitter i'm active on twitter so let's connect <laughs>